Okay, we're ready to start quilting our piece of fabric that we're going to use for our name tag and essentials bag. And my first step is to decide which thread I want to use. I've got two beautiful trilobal polyesters here. Both are made by Superior's thread, Superior Threads. The dark purple one is from their Highlights line, and it's just a solid purple. The other is from the Rainbows line. It's a variegated thread. It changes colors every inch, and it's got some beautiful purples in here. So I like to just pull some thread off of the spool, lay it on my fabric, and then decide from there which one I want to use. I think my choice today is going to be to use the solid purple highlights. Now when I stitch with a trilobal polyester, I want to use a size 9014 needle so that I've got a needle big enough to um, let the thread go in and out uh, through the hole. It's got twice as big of an eye as a normal needle. And my preference for needles are the Superior Threads needles. I'm showing you a size 80, but for this project I would use a size 90. Again, they're titanium coated, so they're extra sharp and extra strong. And the size 90 has a big enough hole for my thread to go through easily and not fray as I work. The next thing that I need to do is put on my walking foot. I like to quilt with a walking foot so that all of my layers move at the same time. This is my walking foot for my Bernina and I'm lucky because it's got a nice little guide that I can put on and that enables me to only have to mark one line on my fabric and then I can use the guide to measure my stitching as I go. So I'm going to start by putting my walking foot on my machine and I have found that if I bring it in from the side, it's much easier to get it on the machine. And then I'll put my guide on. It comes with a little screw that goes on the back, and then the guide just goes through the little holes in there, and you can adjust them how far. I want to have my lines about three quarters of an inch apart, so I'm going to put it right about there. I'll get my... and then I screw that shut. Sorry about the hand in the way. I'll get my little to double check that width. So once my needle, I need to move my needle to the mid position and then set that so it's at about three quarters. So right about there actually is where three quarter is. And then I can just tighten down my screw. And now after I stitch my first row, I'll just run my guide along the previous row of stitching and I'll have rows that are three quarters of an inch apart all the way across my piece. So I'm going to just kind of roll this up so that it's, so I can fit it in front of me. I'm going to turn my light on so I have better light and I can see that line. Now this is the line I marked using the little chalk marker. And you'll notice that as I stitch, the air from my machine pretty much eliminates the line so I don't have any marks to remove when I'm done. I'm going to set my stitch length at about two and a half to two and three quarters, just a regular straight stitch, and I'm going to stitch all the way up and down that line. As I stitch, I kind of put my hands on here and smooth my fabric out away so that I don't have any puckers and creases in it. See, it's very simple and easy to stitch on the soft and stable. Now, I always cut my pieces bigger than what they need to be so that I can accommodate some of the shrinkages I stitch. So, I'm not even going to clip my threads at the end. I'm just going to stitch over a little bit and continue back down. As you can see, I'm going to take my guide, rest it right on that previous line of stitching. And now I can stitch another line three quarters of an inch approximately from the first one all the way down my next piece. And I'm on the home stretch here on my last row. I'm going to trim this narrower than what my fabric is, so I'm not going to worry about doing a stitch along that very outside edge. I think this last row that I'm doing will get everything that I need. So that was quick and easy. I've got my piece all quilted and now I'm ready to go cut out my pieces from my quilted fabric. I've got my pretty batik on the front and a nice solid purple on the back 
and my soft and stable in between.